So hello, I am Scott. I am here on my Steam Deck and I am using it as a Stream Deck. So here is the setup that I have got. I hope I am coming through fine and everything's okay. I am over Wi-Fi so it may or may not cut out. So here's the setup. I am using my Steam Deck attached to an Elgato HD60, also a webcam and I am running OBS in Windows 11 and I've got some overlays on and OBS is capturing um, my main PC through the Elgato so so using the webcam it's got some overlays and also what else have we got going on oh we've got a full screen capture so we can see the OBS as well so we've got quite a lot of things going on and it's coping quite well. Its CPU usage is around 25%. I've had it seen it up to about 30-40% sometimes. So it's not doing bad. So for those of you who have asked the question, can you stream from the Steam Deck? Yes, yes you can. WolfTech. Hello, hello WolfTech. So yeah, that's the setup, and I just wanted to show that this is what you can do. Should I switch? Windows on my Steam Deck. Um, I've got both. I'm using both um, Windows 11 and also uh, the Steam OS uh, as a dual boot. I uh, I've got the 64 gig version of the Steam Deck, but I upgraded the hard drive to a 256 because it was pretty cheap. I managed to find one on eBay for 30 euros, so it was quite cost effective. And I've just put Windows on a 80 gig partition. And that is just enough for Windows 11. Windows 11 eats quite a lot of disk. It really does. So um, if, if you if you're happy with just the Steam OS, I would say keep it. Cause, uh, it is very lean. It only takes up like 12 gigabytes of space on your hard drive. But for me, I didn't want to mess about all the time with Proton versions of things. I do that enough. I, I use enough Linux during the day as it is. I don't want to do it when I'm playing games. So. <laughs> If it works on the Steam OS, I'll play it on the Steam OS. If not, then I'll play it on Windows 11. So I'm just going to have a quick game and uh, just show you how well it actually works. Uh, and I will change to a different scene just uh, to show, maybe. Or maybe we keep it like this, I'm not sure. Hopefully, it finds a game. Uh, <laughs> I love this little uh, thumbstick that I've made. <laughs> it's a webcam. <laughs> So we're just gonna play. We're just gonna try and play a bit of Fall Guys while streaming from the deck. It, like I say, it's coping pretty well. I think you can actually see the um, CPU usage. Yeah, 25, 25% CPU usage at 60 frames a second. It's pretty stable. And like I say, I'm using an Elgato capture card with this. So that's that's how it is working. I might just keep on this screen. I, I quite like it. I quite like. I've been seeing the OBS and everything. Um, I've got the volume turned down pretty low. And my volume are maybe a bit too high, but we'll see. I'm just gonna just do a quick play, just show you can. I mean, why you would want to do this is maybe maybe you want to go to a friend's house, or you go to an event and you want to stream something from an event, and you don't want to take lots of things with you. So you've got your Steam Deck, you've got your Elgato capture card, and you've got a webcam, and that is all you need. Uh, can you try Township Tail? I, I'm not sure if I own that or not. I may actually own that. So maybe I can. But for now, Fall Guys. I do a little bit of Fall Guys. It is a shame that they've removed it from Steam so that the Steam Deck users can't play this, the free for, uh, free to play version for free. Uh, which is kind of sad. I think. Um, I don't mind the Epic Store and I don't mind Epic themselves. Um, but I think that is not a very nice thing to do. <laughs> but I can understand why they're doing it. It's they've made a game free to play, and they want all the income from that game. They don't want to share thirty percent of their income with Steam. So I guess that's fair enough. You know, that's a company business, 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 business. That's what businesses do. They like to make money. So. We're doing alright so far. The stream's looking good. And it's surviving over Wi Fi. I was a bit worried that I didn't plug it into the Ethernet. I think I have forgotten to put V Sync on. This is why the game is tearing a little bit. That is my fault. Oops. No, no, don't. 
don't, don't, don't forfeit. I'm doing well. I'll, I'll go to a different scene, so just to see. Just a full screen game. Here we go, and me, and me. Oh, I think it looks better with the Steam Deck though, doesn't it? But just to prove that you can switch between games and the different scenes and things. This is me on my deck, like I say. I'm just going to have one game, one game of four guys, and that's that's all I'm going to do. So I'm just going to turn this into a video straight away, because that's all I wanted to do really, is prove that you could do this. You can stream directly from the deck. I have recorded a lot of things from the deck already. I have got some videos on YouTube of uh, some benchmarks I made for uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and all of that was actually recorded on the Steam Deck itself. Uh, I didn't advertise that, but uh, that's what I did do. Oh, this is a bit crazy, isn't it? I've no idea what's going on. I have absolutely zero idea. I've never been on this one before. I don't think. Well, I'm not not going very well here. This is not going well. Oh yeah, I've just I've just hit Saturn. This is horrible, isn't it? This is very horrible. It's been a long time since I've played Fall Guys. I originally had this on the PS4 when it was free on the PS4, but uh, I have since stopped using my PS4. Ah, oh, I knew that was going to happen, but I was too slow. Too slow, Chicken Morango, too slow. Ah! Let's get the hell out of here. I'm not even going to get across this. Oi, lasers. Bloody lasers. Sharks with lasers. I don't like lasers, I think. I think I've decided I do not like lasers. Oh. Oh, here we are. Nicely spicely. Nicely spicely. We're through. So, yeah. You might want to have this set up if you're going to a friend's house and you want to stream some, I don't know, some Tony Hawks on the, uh, on the Dreamcast. All then you need is to bring you... Your Steam Deck over, your Elgato, uh, you'll probably want to bring um, an OCC, uh, OS, OSSC to connect it up to, that would work perfectly fine as well. But yeah, like I say, this was just to prove that you can actually do some portable streaming from the Steam Deck from another console. Like I say, this game is playing from my main PC, um, but the Elgato can be linked up to another console, any console. Uh, I am not playing this game directly from the deck, just uh, to be clear. This game is not getting played from the deck, this game is getting played from a second PC, and the Steam Deck is just being used as a streaming PC. A lot of streamers do this with second PCs as their streaming uh, PC, so that they're not using their main PC's CPU or GPU resources, and it's quite handy just having the Steam Deck here. It's not so convenient pressing any of the buttons, though, that is, is quite unfortunate. Um, I've, I have got a nap that would run. Um, I can make a bit bigger or hopefully maybe edit uh, OBS so that we've got some nice big fat buttons for some some tiny screens. The uh, the interface for OBS isn't actually that good <laughs> on the Steam Deck. When you open up a lot of the settings menus, uh, you can't actually get to the bottom of the, uh, the dialog to click any of the buttons. So you have to guess by tabbing along until you <laughs> hit the right thing. So like when I started this stream, uh, I had to work out that it was uh, four tabs across and then enter to click start stream because I could not see it on the screen, which is very annoying. Oh, oh yeah, I wasn't expecting that. There's a lot of new levels that I really don't know. Uh, like, could you hear? They like these slow motion things these days. This never used to be around here, did it? Uh, ah. Come on, get up. I forgot not to just grab onto things. How do you grab? Oh, like that. I should go this way, where there's no snowballs. Oh, it's sh sugar. 
It's not going not going very well at all. Oh well. I'm gonna take it slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Apart from when you lose the race. They're a bit mean those bouncy things, aren't they? Just a wee bit mean. Oh you got nailed. Do some running. What is this? Where's the plan here? Come on! Yeah! Right, I'll just change to the other scene so you can see that it can capture a screen, a game full screen, perfectly fine. And me as well. Little me in the corner now. Oops. Didn't want to do that. That's fine. How many of us left? And that that will be me done. That's that's my point proven. It's coping quite well. Um, I am running off a battery as well, and so far I've got seventy two percent remaining. I don't know if it will tell me how long because I'm in Windows. I don't know if it tells you or not. Um, the reason I'm running off battery is because I do not have enough free USB ports in my hub. I only have one USB port and the charging port which is a USB-C and that is where my Elgato is plugged into so <laughs> right how many of us are left? Let's see if we can get through this get to the final that would be nice wouldn't it just straight away one game straight into the final but let's not, let's not count our jelly beans until they've uh, beaned or whatever beans do oh no Ooh. Ooh. Qualified. Sheesh. That was that was a bit hard, wasn't it? It's got Benada three thousand. So I think we had enough of just me. I want to have it back on the the deck view. This is the best view in tier. This is the one that we need. There we go. That's better. That's even better. Oh, it's the final. Look at that. We're at the final already. That was a nice little short stream. Once we've done this, that'll be it. That'll be, we're done. So yeah, if, if you're at an event and you've not got much space, you just take your stream deck. Street, take your stream deck to the LAN party. Record some footage using the deck and just an Elgato or any other capture device that you may have. Um, it probably would work also in uh, in Steam OS, but the Elgato does not play nicely with uh, with Linux, so Windows is, and that's fine. That is your choice. Windows, Steam OS, Ubuntu, Fedora, um, Halo is Halo the new one that uh, is very similar to Steam OS. Uh, I've not checked that out yet. It would be quite interesting to see that one, and I think there's Chimera as well, which would be interesting to have a look at. So yeah, the screen tearing is not because of the the Steam Deck or any CPU limits. This is because I have forgot to put on my V-Sync or a frame rate cap. So that is uh, all my fault. Hong Kong. Uh oh. We no. We. Oh, that was almost, almost, almost a bad day. That was. We're going to lose another one here. Only one person down so far. No, that's me. That's me down. That's me gone. That's it. Eliminated. Oh, well. We got to the final round. And like I say, point proven. You can stream from the Steam Deck. I, I have not tried streaming from the Steam Deck whilst playing the game on the Stream Deck. It does take a lot of your CPU, like I say. It's currently taking 30% of my CPU. Uh, there is no hardware encoding in the... In the OBS settings, it is software based uh, x264 rather than any hardware based, uh, GPU based sort of uh, encoding, decoding. So, yes, it's not the most efficient, but like I say, at the moment I am doing several things. Uh, so, let's look at my sources again. I've got my Elgato, I've got um, a full screen 
uh, window capture of the deck itself and a couple of overlays and also my webcam which is also my microphone which is why the quality of my microphone is not as good as my proper microphone but there we go it works so thank you very much for watching uh, Wolf Tech you're probably the only one actually watching at the moment but uh, this video is actually intended just to be a video and I will put it on my YouTube channel so yeah thank you for watching and I hope that helped if anyone needs a hand with setup of this then let me know and I'll see if I can uh, provide some assistance so until next time thank you and goodbye from Scorp <laughs> oh, I've not changed the scenes yet I've got to change it to this one Ha, ha, ha.